We're going to have a look at completing this isometric and we're going to take it one step at a time. We're going to have a look at how to interpret what you see in the given top view and the front view. And we're going to start by using the box, box method to draw it. So we're going to take note here of the fact that the total height of this drawing is 24 plus 30, which is 54 millimeters. And I'm going to start by going and drawing in a construction line here and measuring out and marking out that 54 millimeters. I'm also then going to draw a construction line across on both sides from that 54 millimeter mark. And then I'm going to have a look at the width, which you can see in the top view here. You can see it's a total of 50 millimeters wide. Okay, and now you've got to be careful because you've got to, you can't just go and put your 50 millimeter wide on that side because you have to make sure that you're following the point A over here that they've given you on the drawing. That point A shows you how they want you to place the drawing here on the page. And you can see that there's a point A over here as well. So that point A needs to match up with that point A. So for those two A's to match up, same as with that one, that 50 millimeters wide is going to have to go over here. Okay, because then that will make it that our width is here. Okay, and if you have a look at that there, if you take that point A and you go place it here in your drawing, that makes it that point A is then in the correct place if our width is on this side of the drawing and our length is on that side of the drawing. So I'm going to measure that 50 millimeters, mark it off there, and draw another construction line going down, another construction line coming across. So that that forms the box on the side there and then the total the total length of my drawing here a little bit more tricky because they've given us 50 millimeters there 20 millimeters on that side and because that's 20 millimeters and we can see that this side's the same then this will also be 20 millimeters so we know that the total length here is 50 plus 20 plus 20 on this side here so that'll give us a total of 90 so i can go and measure off 90 on this construction line over here I'm just going to make it a bit darker so you can see it measure off my 90 there and then project that down and project another construction line across here to get my other box part of my box on this side and then to finish off the box I'm just going to go and draw construction line across from that point and then another construction line going across from this point here, which then, as you can see, completes our box, our isometric box in construction. Okay, now we know, once we've drawn out that box using the measurements from our given views, we know that our isometric is going to fit into that box. So if you're drawing and any part of your drawing goes outside of these lines, you know that you're definitely wrong. Now, we're going to start off by going and drawing this front view over here, over there, on our box, okay, to see what our drawing is going to start looking like. So we're going to start by taking that front view and drawing it out here, and we're going to draw it in construction, because we don't know which of these lines are going to be dark yet. So I know that in the height of my little legs over there, according to my drawing, are 24 millimeters high, so I can go and mark off that 24 millimeters. And then according to my top view, we said that that was 20, also 20 millimeters wide. So I can go and measure my 20 millimeters here, mark it off, and then draw another construction line up. And then I can do the same thing on the other side, which I don't even have to measure because I can simply take that straight across and then measure my 20 millimeters there, mark it off and draw my other construction line going up. Now you can see part of my front view coming out there. If we add in these little legs over here, we can see from this top view over here that these little legs are 30 millimeters wide. Now, this, what I'm going to show you now is very important. A lot of guys get stuck when it comes to seeing what lines in the top view match up with the lines in the front view. So, for example, these little legs that we have at the bottom over here, 
if you're thinking now I can see that there's no measurements there where on earth am I going to find those measurements in my top view which lines belong to this corner over here and the best way to check that is to take your set square push it along your drawing okay until you can find where that corner over there okay you're in line with that corner and then if you follow that up on the side of your set square you can then see which line actually represents that corner so we can see now that that hidden detail line over there in our top view represents that bottom corner so we know now that the measurement from there to there of 13 millimeters is our measurement that we needed at the bottom over here so we're going to take that 13 millimeters we're going to mark it off on both sides because those two little legs are the same on both sides and then we know it's five millimeters up we can see that over here so we're just going to go and draw in a little construction line and then mark off the five millimeters and then project that across and draw our other little line up which will then meet up with that okay so that's our little bottom hole over there and then of course we've got these two little angle pieces here now those two little angle pieces are going to be very important in this drawing okay at the moment we're just going to draw them in on the flat surface here in the front view we're going to draw our one angled line there and then we're going to draw in our other angled line over there okay now we need we we don't only have a front view for this drawing we've also got a top view we now need to match up what we can see in the front view with what we can see in the top view and this is a very important because our top view shows us depth it shows us how deep each of the parts of our drawing are for example we said that this dotted line over here represented that little foot down the bottom there okay we used our set square to go and match those two up now you can clearly see that in our top view it shows that that dotted line goes all the way through the top view which means that this little this hole underneath here goes all the way underneath the shape all the way through it okay and that we can see from those two dotted lines in our top view now the other thing we can see in our top view is we can see where these dotted lines belong we can see if we take our set square across again that those dotted lines match up with this rectangle that we can see in our top view now because those dotted lines go straight down and through this front view we know that that rectangle is actually a hole going through this shape so we can go and draw in that rectangle on the top of our shape and because we're using our box we can see that that rectangle of course starts from those two points okay we match them up with those two points there and of course if we take our set square we can use that to match them up as well so we know we're drawing the correct lines and I'm going to start by drawing those in as dark lines because I know that I can clearly see that at the top of my drawing and I'm also going to draw in the side lines in dark for the same reason okay like that and now I'm going to have a careful look at this rectangle at the top here and I can see that that re rectangle is 32 millimeters wide and I can also see that they've drawn me a center line here and that center line tells me that that rectangle is on the center of this shape at the top here so I know that I need to go and find the center of that shape which is 50 millimeters wide so I'll mark off for 25 millimeters which of course is half of my 50 I draw a construction line across and then this is also 50 wide so I find 25 there and I can go and draw my other construction line across that thing gives me the center point of that square that shape at the top and now I can go and draw in my rectangle okay, and I remember that our top view is orientated that way around okay so the long side of my rectangle over here is going to be there and the short side will be over here and from our top view we can see from our front view you can see that the rectangle is 22 millimeters wide over there so we're going to go and 
halve that from the center point because remember you're working from the center point so you have to go half of the measurement 11 millimeters to the one side and half of the measurement the other 11 millimeters to the other side and make two dots there and then draw two light construction lines along those two points that gives us the width of that rectangle and now that length over there 32 we're also going to half which is 16 because we're working off a center point so we're going to go from that point 16 millimeters to the one side make a mark and 16 millimeters to the other side and make a mark and then again we're going to go and draw lines across but now we can draw them in dark because we simply have to stop our line where it hits our other construction line that we drew because that told us how wide that was supposed to be we can draw that in dark and then we can go and draw in these two lines in dark now remember that we said that this is a hole and it goes right through the shape now if that's the case that means that from each of our corners over here you have to lie have a line going straight down but in our isometrics we don't draw in hidden details so you won't see that line coming down or that one or that one but you will see a line coming down from that corner so we are going to have to draw in a line going down from that corner which shows that this is a hole but we are of course going to stop as soon as it hits into the side because that's where we can't see that line anymore okay great now we're going to move outwards a little bit more now these little lines over here are the ones that have most probably been the most confusing in this drawing now those are the lines over there have got to match up with something here in our front view okay they can't match up with nothing they have got to match up with something in our front view and if we go and take our set square again you'll be able to see that those two little lines start there and they end there and if we look in our front view we can see that the only thing that those two lines could possibly match up with is this angled line over here and the other reason we know that is because there's a dark line here and there which tells us that this face over here is not actually sitting right in front of our drawing here because if that was sitting right in front of our drawing then that line there and there would go away because this would be one flat surface so we know that this little face here is actually got to fit somewhere in here and our top view tells us where because in our top view we can see that those two little lines over there belong to that face so we know that that face is actually sitting here right slap bang in the middle of our top view and it's four millimeters wide so we have our center point that we were working from already it's over there projected we projected it across so it sits there on the side so we can go and measure two millimeters to each side of that little center point which of course gives us the four millimeter thickness that we were looking for we are also then going to have to go and draw another line along the side over here because remember we're working with this shape this triangle we've got that corner across and we've drawn in our width over there now we're taking this corner across and again we're going to go for our center point mark of our center point at 25 millimeters and then do the same thing again go two millimeters to each side of that point and then we're going to join up those points with the matching ones on the top line over there which then gives us our two little top lines you can see over there in our top view and then we need to of course get this triangular shape okay so we can the other point which we haven't projected inwards yet is that point down there and now all we need to do is project a line going straight down till it hits into that point and another one coming straight across till it hits into that point and that now gives us that triangular shape which we thought was over here but from our top view we can now see is actually sitting over here so we've completed that we can then go and draw in the parts of our front view which we know are going to still be sitting right there on the front face of our drawing so we can go and draw all of those in 
and then we're going to have a few dark lines which will come across here for that depth there'll be a dark line that comes across there and then of course we'd have to have a dark line coming down here which will show the back part of that square and then another dark line across there and then of course we'll have a dark line here for that edge but that's got to stop where it hits into that little ridge can't go through that because we'd have hidden detail underneath there and then we can go and darken the rest of these now that other what about this other angled face over here that little angled face that you actually can't see it's going to sit at the back over there and as it goes down at the back you're actually not going to be able to see that face at all so we're not going to need to project anything for that face we're just going to draw in our dark line there because that little face over there is actually hidden at the moment we can't see it and then the last thing we have to do of course is go and finish off this hole at the bottom there is one little important point on that bottom hole and that of course is our depth line okay once I've drawn these, you'll see where that's going to have to go in. So once we've got that, there's a little line over here which has to be drawn in to show that that's a hole again. Remember, we had the same thing happening here with this hole. The same thing's got to happen there. Okay, to indicate that's a hole going through the shape. And then our last couple of lines to draw in, of course, are going to be these two lines on the side. And that then completes our drawing.